Hey there YouTube, today we're going to have a chat about puzzles and how I've seen some players manage their time horribly while trying to complete pillars in Project Playtime. When a match starts, you only have so much time before the monsters is released and they start their patrols. There's only so much time before you should honestly start moving around the map, focusing on where the monster is and trying to keep your distance so you don't get caught. That's why today we'll go over what puzzles you can complete in such a short time while leaving longer puzzles to be completed as slowly as you rotate around the map. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos, we're on the road to 1000 subscribers and I appreciate all the support over the past few months. Keep in mind that none of these opinions include using any of the puzzle perks to speed up the progress. With that, let's get started. So, once you get into a match, the first thing you should do is quickly check what puzzles are on the pillars close to the train. You only have enough time to finish the quickest puzzles before the monster tends to patrol those pillars. Too many players just sit on the beginning pillars trying to finish puzzles and end up getting downed. Making distance and trying to keep the monster away is the best strategy. I can't stress enough that letting a monster get close to you is almost inescapable, and only by using certain environmental obstacles could you even possibly escape a down. Survivors have enough movement tech and obstacles that if used correctly, the monster will struggle to down the whole lobby. So with that in mind, completing the quickest puzzles while leaving longer puzzles to be done in parts as you circle around the map is the mindset to improve and escape with your life. The puzzle that should always be completed first is the collage puzzle, which is the quickest out of the six for sure. I've had it completed sometimes within three actions, otherwise it's still quite quick with how swift the tiles rotate. After a while, you can tell how many times you're going to need to rotate a piece to align the arc correctly, completing the puzzle since it doesn't save work progress. For second place, I feel like it's somewhat of a tie between the maze puzzle, but leaning a bit more towards the reflex puzzle. The reflex puzzle can take some time, but you may come across some maze puzzles rocking one or two of what I've been calling the fan maze variant. Those can waste a lot of time, while it only saves progress after completing the first half of the maze. Reflex on the other hand saves the progress after each correct button is hit, needing 16 in total to complete. It can be completed with quick reactions, plus you can stop at any point and come back if the monster starts to patrol your area. It's good at being consistent, a reliable time sink that doesn't require that much brain power, and you can even squeeze a quick look around for the monster's location in between buttons. For 4th and 5th place, it's again a bit of a tie between the crane puzzle with the memory puzzle being a bit faster to finish in my opinion. They both take 3 rounds to complete the puzzles while saving your progress after each round. It does take some time for the pattern to be shown for the memory puzzle, but inputting the pattern can be done quickly. The crane on the other hand can be tricky to align correctly, grabbing the wrong item as it increases its speed. The host can have an easier time completing the crane puzzles due to latency, while others can experience a very laggy crane causing some difficulty. Last is the piano puzzle of course, increasing its difficulty by adding a color to each previous pattern needing 6 in total to complete. If you've ever played that electronic game Simon, you'll get the idea behind the puzzle. It can be quite loud allowing any monster passing by to hear that the pillar is being worked on, and only saves your progress after a pattern was entered correctly. Sometimes the patterns can be quite easy, or overly complicated and difficult to remember, uh, at least for me. Now, this video might seem silly, talking about how quickly you can finish certain puzzles and ranking them in speed, but I've seen many who would pass up quicker puzzles to work on more difficult puzzles, leading to the monsters pushing them off pillars or downing them easily. If this has opened your eyes to the speeds of completing these puzzles, then I'm glad that I could at least help. Honestly, I can't count how many times I've seen players pass a collage puzzle to work on a different and longer puzzle like the crane even. This issue in particular has been bugging me for months witnessing players who just work on long puzzles knowing the monster is closing into our location and just get downed. Hopefully this helps, and I'll catch you all in the next video.